everyone, and welcome back to Royalty Soaps and the 12 Days of Soapmas. Today, I am going to be making my Bird of Paradise soap. It has been years since I made this. I'm pretty sure the last time I made this soap, I was in my parents' garage, which was like, I think the first two years of me soap making. So it's been a while, but I really missed the fragrance and I really missed the color combination. So I decided that I needed to do it right now. So the first step is to pour my lye water solution into my oil bucket here. I am actually only making two loaves of this because I'm really kind of just making this video for the 12 days of soap mints and because I kind of wanted to do a small batch. I don't know, I was missing the small batches so I might make some more of it, make another little small batch so that we have four loaves. But we're just gonna start with these two today. So I'm gonna blend this up until light traces is achieved and then we'll split it off for the coloring. Light Trace is now complete. So we're going to pour off some soap into these little containers here. Okay, so for my colors today, I'm going to be using some hydrated chrome green. This is from Brambleberry. It makes a really cool green color that I haven't found like available with any other mica that I've used. Gonna put a goodly bit in there and then we're gonna put in some blue oxide. That is from TKB Trading. Then we're going to put in some yellow oxide. This is also from TKB Trading. And then some Cosmic Carolyn Mica, also from TKB. And finally, to the large bucket of soap, we are adding titanium dioxide from TKB. I'm going to mix up this big bucket first, and then we're going to move from this side to this side. Now it's time to add in a little bit of fragrance into these containers. I'm going to mix it up with my spatula and then we're going to pour into the molds. Okie dokie, so the first thing we're pouring in is the white. I'm pouring it out of this container just so that I can be a little more purposeful with my pour. It's a lot easier to pour with this container. So we're gonna start with this pink all the way in like that. Then we're gonna move to the blue like this and down and up. Now the yellow, I'm gonna pour that kind of down the middle and off one side. Down the middle, off one side. And next the green that I'm also gonna pour down the middle and then to the other side. So down the middle to the other side. Now we're gonna pour in some more white. Kind of slide it down the middle here. Not a whole bunch because I wanna save some for the top. I'm gonna put a little more blue down the middle. Then a little more pink all the way down. And some yellow, a little more yellow, and kind of a lot of green, oops. I'll just put that there on the side there. Who needs it? <laughs> so now I'm gonna clean up that side there, but I'm also gonna kinda bounce this down into the molds. This is going to be a low top soap. I'm gonna smash this down here. Okay, so now I'm gonna tap these down on the floor before I put the rest of the white on top. Okay, so I've smeared some more of that soap down, trying to make it a little more flat. I'm going to add the white on top now. Okay, so now that I have all the white in and have made quite a mess of it, um, I'm going to scrape out my little containers here and put some of the color on top. Just kind of dab it on. I am going to try to swirl this just a teeny tiny bit after I have it on the soap. Okay, so I got all the different colors in there. So now I'm going to start swirling just a little bit because it's, it's pretty thick. So, just down like this. We're 
right -o. so now I'm going to clean up the edges a little bit because I did sort of smear this everywhere. This is what the Bird of Paradise soap looks like up close. I am obsessed with it. So I'm going to let it sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and we will chop up these bars. So we are back about 24 hours later to cut up this soap bar. So I'm gonna line it up here with my bud cutter. And ta-da! That's what it looks like on the inside. Hey, look here, y'all couldn't see very well, so I moved the camera so that the little bolt thingy or whatever that is is out of the way. You. That's a lot of like that chromium green or whatever on that one. And you can see that snuff is really, really pigmented. We have a very functional question of the day today. We are dangerously close to hitting 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is blowing my mind, but we're going to do a massive giveaway. So I wanted to know, would you guys rather have like a cash prize giveaway or would you rather like a whole bunch of gift cards or something? Because sometimes I would prefer getting gift cards because then I have to spend it at whatever store it is. And I know if I ever get like birthday money or something like that, that I might not spend it on something very fun. Like I'll just take it and use it to buy groceries or rent or something but if somebody like gives me a Chili's gift card or you know somewhere like a fancy spa or something then I know I have to use it there so let me know what you guys want do you want cash cash money or do you want like gift cards if you want to vote on this question of the day you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment down below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next installment of the 12 Days of Soapmas. <laughs>